High ones today I'm talking about is Royal Dutch Shell, a buy right now after it's been on a little bit of a discount. A lot of this is caused by the oil war, but uh, we'll get stuck into that later in the video. A lot of you guys have been commenting down below saying, can you have a look into Royal Dutch Shell and kind of give your opinions on it. And uh, I currently don't own any shares in it, uh, but I do like Shell. Um, I think it's probably one of the best companies in its kind of sector. And I'll talk about if I'm going to buy it towards the end of the video. I think this and probably Exxon Mobile are the two kind of strong companies in this kind of sector for me. I definitely think that this company is better than BP. Um, so I think that these them two companies are definitely the strong ones. So uh, I know a few of you guys have been commenting down below. Can I have a look at it? And I will do. And as always, guys, smash that like button and I'll get stuck into if Royal Dutch Shell is a buy. So Royal Dutch Shell is one of the biggest oil and gas companies that's currently out there. It's had a little bit of a problem recently because obviously we've had the coronavirus, which kind of hurt demand slightly for Shell. But at the same time, one of the bigger problems out there right now for Shell is that oil war that is currently going on about Saudi Arabia and Russia. And it's basically overproduction and how much they're producing. And this kind of affected Roger Shell and a lot of other oil companies that are out there. Now, because of that, it has taken the stock down to 44% on the stock chart. The ticker symbol is RDSA. And it's on a 44% discount, so it's about £14.71 right now. And it was a little bit more than that, and when it was a little bit more, we had a higher dividend yield, which was maybe a little bit of a better opportunity to go by, but uh, it's still a higher dividend than BP at the moment. It's 60% undervalued according to Simply Wall Street, so still people are seeing a little bit undervalued at these top prices. And I would generally agree saying that right now it is slightly undervalued at these prices, and if I was probably tempted to buy the company, I would say that now while it's on discount as always is the best opportunity to go buy a stock because it gives you the best potential to get a higher dividend yield as well as a higher dividend yield more than likely the stock price won't go lower than this it probably go higher better opportunity overall so um yeah if i was to consider on a discount right now if you were going to consider it it is probably one of the better opportunities it has been for quite a while so the growth side with royal dutch shell at the moment is shrinking uh, a lot of this is coming from the revenue shrinking the eps doesn't look too bad but the revenue isn't looking great overall now a lot of this is obviously short term it's going to get hurt by the coronavirus and the old war but a lot of this is coming from renewable energy and as we see going forward in like the long term renewable energy will come more and more of a thing uh, a lot of people you know wanting to you know save the planet and all that and because of that it means that a lot of these oil companies uh, definitely not so much in the short term but long term you know they're going to start get affected by this because of this there is going to be limited revenue growth eps is still not looking at too bad of growing but definitely a lot of uh, these oil companies are, are going to be struggling on the revenue front in the long term now balance sheet wise it's not an amazing one but a lot of these oil companies do not have very good balance sheets there's definitely a lot of worse balance sheets out there and it's really going to need a lot of this balance sheet to start kicking in if it was going to carry on doing its dividend which we'll talk about in long term i kind of see shell kind of prioritizing that dividend and i reckon they probably put a little bit more debt on this balance sheet but at the moment it has about 18 billion in cash it has about 95 billion in debt and i've got to say the worst thing about this balance sheet is that that debt has doubled in five years which is kind of worrying as well so 80 billion in cash is kind of useful to have right there um, they do have quite a lot of assets covering the debt, but still 65 billion in debt is quite high and like I said, I expect them to probably increase that debt load going forward. It has a 10.31% dividend yield. It was a little bit higher a few days ago, but um, still, I think a lot of people will be looking at that dividend and thinking, is it worth a shot getting in? I think a lot of people will be using this as a dividend play stock and 10.31% dividend yield isn't bad. That payout ratio is high though at 96% and obviously while they're still kind of struggling um, it is going to have questions around the dividend. It should be okay for a while and then it'll probably look at maybe getting a bit more debt to pay that dividend. I don't know if it will cut the dividend because it has had a history of paying the dividend for uh, since World War II uh, whereas a company like BP has cut the dividend before um, Royal Dutch Shell has paid its dividend since World War II. 
Now, one positive I did see with the company is insiders are buying. I saw the vice chairman buy a boatload of shares. I've seen the CEO buying a boatload of shares. So it is looking like a lot of people in the inside are looking at this company and thinking it has, is at a discount, especially people that are high up. Um, so that's a really good thing when you see people inside buying on these sort of prices because they feel like it's undervalued. So overall, what's kind of my opinion with Royal Dutch Shell and we're going to go buy these shares. Now, obviously, this is a dividend play. It isn't going to offer revenue growth. It has a little bit of EPS growth. So the dividend is a little bit of a high payout and at a little bit of a risk right now. Obviously, I think long term it will sort itself out with the oil war and the coronavirus. So it should be OK and go back to normal long term. But short term, there's a little bit of pressure on that dividend. Um, I think it should sort it out. But obviously, if the, this carries on for a while, then obviously there is the pressure on the dividend being cut. Now, there's a few things with this. The oil and gas industry isn't my strongest sector. I don't have an amazing understanding of the sector as well. It is very um, vulnerable to a lot of things that happen in the world. So, for example, if Saudi Arabia and Russia start falling out about production, it can affect Shell overall. And that's one thing that I'm a little bit wary about. It has external effect, uh, factors that will kind of affect the company. And that makes me a little bit nervous. I like a company that isn't relying on other things that are happening in the world uh, to do quite well. Uh, that's a little bit worrying thing. So my knowledge isn't great. Obviously the external factors as well. And I do like a dividend stock, but when I buy a dividend stock, I like to know it's a safe dividend and that revenue will carry on increasing even at a slow rate, um, that it will carry on easily paying that dividend. And what I see right now is Shell will definitely struggle to grow that revenue. Uh, which makes me question how long is that dividend going to be safe for in the future? Um, it, can it carry on increasing that dividend, which is another thing. And overall, I just see kind of in general, the whole energy sector, I see kind of now changing and that kind of pressure on to be greener and to switch to renewable energies and solar. I mean, it won't affect it too much in the short term, maybe two years span, but definitely five years down the line where I look to hold quite a few stocks. Um, I can see this company getting affected by that. So from my kind of view is it's not one for me personally for a few reasons. And also I don't really like it from its revenue growth to carry on that dividend as well. I think that's a little bit worrying for me as well. So for me, it's not a stock for me to go buy, but if some of you guys did take a bit of a plunge in this one while it's on this discount, I don't blame you because I think it is undervalued stock price wise. Um, and like I said, dividend wise, I mean, I don't know how safe it is, but you are at least in the short term going to be picking up a good 10% if you bought at the you know lower prices maybe 12, 13% dividend yield, which is fantastic. So um, I don't think it's too bad of a pickup, to be honest with you, if you did buy it. But for me, it's not one that I'll be going into anytime soon, especially when we've got some discounts out there and some other fantastic companies as well. So that's me talking about Royal Dutch Shells today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, subscribe if you haven't, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.